We're now joined on the sports mix by the head coach of the Jefferson Cougars, Craig Hunter. Coach Hunter, your team shuts out Hedgesville with a 28 nothing victory last week. Uh, let's just go over the game and get a quick recap and your thoughts. Uh, you know, I thought um, defensively we just were able to just get after them, um, kind of pretty much stifled anything they were able to do offensively. Um, you know, uh, offensively we were able to move the ball, uh, locked on the ground. Uh, their defense dictated us for us to run the ball a lot more than normal. Our defense we were playing, so we ran the ball a lot more. Instead of throwing the ball a lot, um, you know, um, we were just able to take care take care of some certain things and clean some things up from uh, the Martinsburg game. And the only thing I didn't like was um, the penalties. We had a lot of penalties this past week, um, which I didn't like that a lot. That that kind of hurt us a little bit on some drives, kind of stifled some drives. But we could have actually scored scored some more, um, but. Uh, penalties put behind the sticks and hurt us a little bit. Coach, your team is uh, three and two through the first five weeks, halfway through the regular season. Eleventh in the rate in the latest uh, WVSSAC football rankings. Uh, just, I guess, what's your thoughts on where your team's at right now, and is this about where you expected to be at this point in the season? Uh, I don't know if it's expected to be at this point in the season. Um, I would I would hope that we'd have more wins, <laughs> but you know three and two is not bad going into this point of the season. Um, we I talked to the team this past week, this weekend and Monday that these next three games are crucial um, to where we want to be and how we want to try to play out this playoff this playoff picture. Um, having South this week, um, Millbrook the following week, and then Musselman. Um, these next three games are very crucial, and if these guys they want to. Uh, continue to set the goals where we had them and reach those and attain those goals, then we have to complete the task at hand um, these next three weeks. Let's now get into that first one against South Hagerstown, your opponent for this week. What have you seen from them so far this year? Um, uh, it's, they're so similar to the style they did last year. They're a spread team. Um, got a little quick running back, a mobile quarterback, uh, two big receivers. Uh, both six three. I can throw the ball up to them. Defense we've seen before. We're going to see a three four defense. Um, you know, so they they move they they pursue the ball well. They get to the ball. They're very active defensively. Um, so we just got to make sure we understand what we're going to see versus our formations, and just um, defensively keep attacking. Defensively get after them, um, and offensively try to limit the penalties and just continually move the ball like we did last week coach you already mentioned the importance of the game uh with it you know obviously you're trying to get the win and improve your playoff seating uh this is a team that you guys have kind of dominated the last two years but they've already matched their season win total uh from last season so how are you trying to i guess express to your team the importance of the game and and the fact that you don't want to overlook this uh, south Hagerstown team I just don't take anybody for granted. I mean, that's the main thing. Um, that's the same thing we last week um, with Hedgesville. You know, we we kind of you know wouldn't handle them last year, but it's a different team, different different kids, different atmosphere. Um, same thing this week, different team, different atmosphere. They had a new coach now, um, culture changing. Uh, we just don't want to overlook anything and put ourselves in a bad situation. So we want to take each game. Uh, one game at a time, um, and try to accomplish what we, what we need to accomplish during those week and that that individual week. Coach Hunter, as we said before, halfway through the season now, uh, and with that, just wanted to get a update on the health of your program. Uh, we're a little little banged up right now. Um, we got little minor injuries, you know, some ankles, um, some things of that nature. Kids are you know changing the weather. Kids are starting to get a little sick. Um, other than that, I mean, everything everything's going well. No major injuries. Um, just some little things, stuff the kids can actually play through, but um, knock on wood, nothing major. And, Coach, with it being halfway through the season, uh, we knew you had to replace a lot on the skill positions um, offensively and some guys defensively as well. Just how do you feel like some of these guys have uh, stepped up that have had to fill new roles this year for you? Uh, you know, some of the guys are stepping up. I mean, they're stepping up doing a good job uh, of, you know, trying to, you know, collectively fill 
uh, roles and the, the kids that we lost. Um, you know, I think we're, I think us as coaches are still trying to find, we're still trying to find our way through that situation ourselves and not having those guys that you can just bank on and just go to. Um, so I think as coaches early in the season, we were collectively trying to figure out how we were going to make adjustments to not having those guys too. So it wasn't just those kids adjusting to their new roles, but us adjusting to our new situation of not having those guys. You mentioned for South Eggerstown they have a new coach. Have you seen anything different from them than what they've done in the past? Uh, not not really. Um, you know, just trying to make sure, you know, with a new coach in there, you know, they, they might be a little bit more enthused, uh, a little more excited. Like I said, culture change. Um, so we just can't, like I said, we just can't take anything for granted. Uh, we got to go out there and try to handle business, um, you know, it's, it's a business day, so we just got to go in there, handle business, take care of business, and hopefully come out with the win. All right. Any final thoughts, Coach? No, not at all. All right. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you.